Hello everybody, it's me from the future. I'm going back and looking through my videos as I upload them, and I realized that in the in the, uh, the issues that I had trying to get the super jump bug going to work and actually editing that video, I edited out the non-bug way of getting to the airfield. So what I'm going to do now is show you exactly how to do it. Now I've been playing with a completely different setup um, since I've been I'm a couple of hours ahead of this game so it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to but and there's a couple things I'm gonna do differently than I would do otherwise I'll just tell you what I would do and uh, and hopefully you'll understand what I'm saying and agree why I wouldn't show you what I'm doing because it's quite a passive thing that I would or would not do. It's very confusing. Uh, so there are these towers here, and there are two cameras and two two turret guns on either side of the tower. There's another one there. There's four or five on the entire map all up. Uh, basically, what you can do is you can run up with a lockpick. You can lock the uh, pick lock lock pick the door using the bug so the turrets don't shoot you. And there's a little bit of loot in each tower that you can get. But when you finish this level, you... Oh, there's another one there. Great. When you finish this level, you automatically um, disable all the turrets and alarms and the cameras and all that. So you can just waltz right in. And every bad guy... Not every bad guy, but the key to every tower is on a bad guy somewhere in this map. Ah, now I'm going to have to try and do this without... Auto saving, I think. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm uh, not auto saving, quick saving. <laughs> Sorry, it's just weird to go back and play this part of the game over again. Ah, uh, I guarantee you, this guy has a flamethrower, and I have quite a few accuracy upgrades on my rifle at the moment, and as you guys would know, none on this one. Which is making it quite difficult to um, get a good shot off. Ah, that guy is the flamethrower. That's right, though. So yeah, the only real problem with this airfield is those. <laughs> those little bastards. Oh my god. How am I going to do this with no legs? I can't. I can't do it with no legs. Let's try that again. Well, you can do it with no legs, but, you know, realistically, how am I going to do this with no legs? I thought that was quite... I was going to say I thought that was quite clever, but nope, that was just another dumb thing. Yep. Wow. Get good. You know, whatever. I'm just going to do it. So one of the Ambrosia shipments which we're supposed to be finding is in this warehouse. Well, this little dock area. Ah, uh, missed. There you are, you little bitch. Oh, it's because your alarm is going off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
Yeah, so it is fairly... I mean, it's not necessary, but... It's really handy to take all of those guys out. Because they have the keys that you probably want. Who's the fascist? Me? Yeah, so, no good comes from editing. Well, no, no good comes from editing like a, a moron. No scope, why don't you work? Okay. Now, I remember having a lot of trouble with this earlier, so I'm going to try a different route. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not right. Okay, so there is an invisible wall there. Bra fucking vo. There is a uh, turret up here that will shoot you because the alarm is going off. Cool. So I'm just going to wait for this gas to clear out. Ah. Now, a thing I've forgotten, so I'll just do this real quick. There is a keypad here, but if we want to code, we can easily blow this door up, and we will blow up the locker that has the code in it, in the same explosion. And we'll come down here, and there is a secret here. And there are some darts here as well. If you want them for your, uh, your dart, they're just regular darts. So we got some sniper ammo, the nano key for the door I just blew up, lockpick, mini crossbow, and a scope. Anybody? Anybody. Oh, man. Oh, man. If it weren't for the fact that I'm really not in the mood to play this level all over again for like the fifth time, <laughs> I would... I would definitely start this video over, but I'm just... Yep. This is the grouchy playthrough. Okay, so there's, like, definitely more than two guys, but... Down here? Is he hanging out in the kitchen? No, it's a legit mystery. There he is. He was hanging around outside. Of course he was. Now, at the conclusion of this video, I am going to um, show you the super jump way of getting in. Probably yet again, but to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure on what I lost. I could go back and check, but I forgot to before I started this video. So I'm going to show it off one more time, just in case you need a refresher. So we get our lamb back, we get a med kit, and a data cube. And the answer here is 59.14. We can put this away. There is some loot over here. I recommend you go run around and explore a little bit. 
Cole wants to talk to me, I don't really want to listen to him. Okay, the first thing to do is... Hmm, go up. Yep, yeah, you want to go up. And in the corner here is a key. We're going to need that key. And now we're going to go downstairs. There is an augmentation canister here. I'm going to check it out. And we do need to come down here because we need to find that last ambrosia canister. I'm just going to wait for this to go. Um, this should be it. Nope. And I don't really care because I'll use as many multi-tools as I want. And this canister is the EMP and Ballistic Protection Org. Uh, I don't think it's very valuable, but you can get some mileage out of it. Now, Lebedev is through this door. And when he comes through this door, Agent Anne Navarre is going to spawn, and she's going to tell us to execute him. And I don't think we can really f continue until we do something. So what we're going to do is place a lamb on the wall here. Now when she spawns, she's going to run and trigger the lamb, and she is going to die in one hit. Bang. Now that is a mutinous thing to do, that is a treacherous thing to do. I do it because, and here is a spoiler alert, we do have to kill her later in the game. She becomes a problem and we need to kill her. And a lot of people don't realize it, but you can kill her here, you can kill her now. And it saves a big headache having to do it later because she is a lot better armed, she's a lot more prepared, and it's kind of an equal footing kind of battle. But on this one we're going to be very, very sneaky. And in the next video, which is immediately after what I'm about to do, you're going to hear me t say, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. I put the lamb here. You need to put it on within these doors here. She spawns within these doors, she doesn't come running down here. So, uh, if you want the password to the ore canister, it is here. But now we're going to talk to Lebedev. And Navara is going to come running down. She is going to die. We're going to crack wise with Lebedev. And, uh, yes, okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. I'm really sorry about the poor tone of this video. I hope that you, um, I mean, I know the airfield can be a little bit difficult with those bots. Oh, so Pawn, uh, Pawn, <laughs> Paul spawns to talk to us there, because he was triggered too as soon as we left, but obviously he's not meant to be there now. So, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, I'm going to show you the the way to do this buggly. I'm sorry I've done that already. You can end the video if I have. Um, yes, so I'm saying, as I was saying, I know the uh, I know the airfield can be quite difficult because of those bots, but you'll see that once you've got the Gip gun and you have a general idea of where they patrol, you can easily take them out. The mooks, the goobs, the soldiers, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> do not land on that helicopter, whatever you do. They, um, you know, they can be, they can be tough. The guy with the flamethrower, if you don't expect him, him can be tough. But he is standing by an open pool of water, so. But, I mean, otherwise, it's quite an easy level once you know what you're doing. Or if you just abuse this glitch. So you walk out the door. You jump up here onto the roof. And now you just want to keep running across. And you want to drop down here, as you have already seen as I went back over there. We bypassed this entire place. Oh, go, by the way, go back and explore this place. There is a lot of loot that I'm not interested in. Okay, now you want to come and you want to run straight into this corner. I'm going to have it work on the first try. No, I'm not. I had it working on the first try in the original video. Nope. And I saved. Bravo. Oh. 
there is no reason why it shouldn't work. Ah, okay, so you don't want to hit right in the corner, you want to hit just a little bit back from the corner. But what that does is it hits the travel hitbox, which obviously the developers never expected anyone to be able to hit from out there, and it teleports you straight into here, which you will recognize as the plane, which means you don't have to fire a single shot in that entire mission if you don't want to. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very, very much for putting up with this terrible, terrible uh, editing and streaming and rambling and this dying. It does get better from here on out, I know. I've already seen the videos. It doesn't get much better, but I don't miss out entire segments of the game by accident. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.